In the center of Beijing, the capital city of China, hidden among the alleys, there is an ancient building complex. This place was originally the ancestral temple of a powerful Ming Dynasty eunuch, who was blamed for the capture of Emperor Zhu Qizhen by the Mongols. What happened to this eunuch and this emperor more than 500 years ago? And what is unique? About this temple, this is the story of this historical site. In 1444, in the early years of the Ming Dynasty, a powerful eunuch Wang Zhen built a large ancestral temple only three kilometers away from the Forbidden City to commemorate his ancestors. Emperor Zhu Qizhen named this temple. Zhihua Temple. This is the first hall in the temple. The Buddha statue originally enshrined in it no longer exists. These two stone steles recorded the construction process of this temple. In ancient China, significant events were usually recorded on the stone steles. On both sides of the courtyard stand the bell tower and drum tower. Eunuchs are castrated men. The use of eunuchs by ancient Chinese imperial families can be traced back to about 3,000 years ago, and lasted until the overthrow of the Qing Dynasty in 1912. Eunuchs were usually regarded as servants of the emperor, but the situation in the Ming Dynasty was different. In current terms. The Ming Dynasty did not have the position of prime minister, and all government affairs had to be handled personally by the emperor. However, some emperors were unwilling to do so much work, and would give this responsibility to eunuchs. Therefore, during the reign of certain emperors, eunuchs became real emperors. That is why. During the nearly 300 years of rule of the Ming Dynasty, there were several powerful eunuchs. This is the second hall of this temple. Now there are music performances here every day. Let's listen to it first. This is not ordinary traditional Chinese music. It is said that these tunes and melodies were brought out from the imperial palace by Wang Zhen. In other words, it is very likely that the Chinese emperors hundreds of years ago also listened to this music. In this side hall. There is a magnificent Buddhist instrument. In fact, this is a bookshelf that stores Buddhist scriptures. Each small grid carved with Buddha statues is a drawer. If you look closely, you can see that each small grid has Chinese characters written on it, which is equivalent to an index. Through these Chinese characters. You can find the location of the Buddhist scriptures accordingly. There is also a beautiful Buddha statue on the top of this bookshelf. It is said that Wang Zhen was a knowledgeable eunuch and was Zhu Qizhen's teacher before he came to the throne. Zhu Qizhen also respected him very much. Zhu Qizhen ascended the throne at the age of eight. And trusted Wang Zhen deeply. Therefore, Wang Zhen became a very influential eunuch. In 1449, the Mongols invaded, and Wang Zhen allegedly encouraged the emperor to personally lead his troops to fight them. During the war, Wang Zhen's command was chaotic and disastrous. 
resulting in the entire army being almost wiped out. Emperor Zhu Qizhen was captured, and Wang Zhen himself died in the war. This is the main hall of this temple. Inside are three statues of Buddha. Surrounding the Buddha statue are many small cabinets to store Buddhist scriptures. It is said that there are ten thousand small Buddha statues in the entire hall. So this hall is called the Ten Thousand Buddha Pavilion. The Mongols hoped. To use the captured emperor to negotiate with the Ming Dynasty, but unexpectedly, the Ming government had already appointed Zhu Qizhen's younger brother as the new emperor. It means that Zhu Qizhen had become the former emperor and had no use anymore. After being held captive for a year, Zhu Qizhen was released by the Mongols. But the problem was that his younger brother had no intention of letting him become emperor again. Therefore, he was imprisoned in the palace by his brother for seven years after returning home, until he staged a coup and became emperor again. After Zhu Qizhen proclaimed himself emperor again. He missed Wang Zhen so much, and ordered the construction of a statue and a stone stele in the temple to commemorate him. It's the stone stele we see now, but there's nothing on it. It's very strange, right? Why is that? It turns out that about 300 years later, in the Qing Dynasty, some government officials. Saw the statue and stone stele, they thought it was ridiculous that a eunuch who caused the emperor to be captured could still be commemorated. Therefore, in 1742, Emperor Qianlong ordered the statue and stone stele to be destroyed. This is an ink rubbing of the stele before it was destroyed. From it. We can see what Wang Zhen looked like. This ink rubbing is now in the collection of the Philadelphia Museum of Art. Some people believe that as a eunuch, Wang Zhen could not have full command power, even if he had influence on the emperor. Historical records put all the blame on Wang Zhen just to cover up the emperor's mistakes. More than 500 years have passed, and perhaps we will never know the truth. Only this temple still stands here as a witness to history.